Blog Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Dr. John D. Martini, and you are listening to Empowered Living. Hi, this is Byron Katie. Hi, this is Greg Braden. Hi, this is Mark Hope. Hi, this is Dr. Manu Bami. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Pat Basili, the host of the Dr. Pat Show. Hi, this is Dr. John Gray, author of Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. Hi, this is Joan Borisenko. I'm author of Your Soul's Compass. Hi, this is Dr. Richard Moss, author of The Mandala of Being. Hi, this is Stephen Mitchell. Hi, this is Dan Millman, author of Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Hi, this is James Redfield, author of The Celestine Prophecy. You've tuned in to a radio show that can truly change your life. It's time to break free from the prison of your negative thoughts and release your greatest self. You're listening to Empowered Living with Steve Maraboli. A better today welcomes you to Empowered Living, Life, the Truth, and Being Free with host, speaker, writer, and personal coach, Steve Maraboli. In the next hour, Steve and his expert guests will take you on a quest for truth and highlight philosophies and strategies that help you release your greatest self. It's time to focus on your potential instead of your limitations. Here's your host, Steve Maraboli. Welcome to Empowered Living Life, the Truth, and Being Free. I'm your host, Steve Maraboli. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, we have another fantastic show today. Again, thank you. First, I want to say hello to the A Better Today community. You continue to make this show the most listened to internet talk radio show in the country, which is fantastic, and you do that. We don't advertise this show. You do it by simply telling others, uh, telling others about this show, sharing information, sending links, whatever it is you're doing. Thank you so much. Again, for more information about the A Better Today community, Visit abettertoday.com. Today we have an amazing guest coming on shortly. Colette Baron reed will be on. She's an internationally best-selling author, and she's the real deal. You know, I don't, I don't usually have intuitives on the show. Um, however, reading Colette's work and, and doing some research, she's the real deal, and I have a lot of friends in, in the industry that, uh, that will vouch for that. So I'm really excited to have Colette on the show. She'll be joining us in a second. One more thing about the A Better Today community. Remember, one kind gesture, one person at a time, one day at a time. That's why we have a Better Today community members all across the world, thousands of members just doing kind things. Folks, we've come to a point where it's time to stop just talking about change. Like Gandhi said, you have to be the change. And it's simple things. It doesn't have to be enormous things. Just one kind gesture, one person at a time, one day at a time. Imagine if you did something today that would positively affect somebody's life. Even if it's just smiling at them or asking them how they're doing and actually rating to hear the result or complimenting on, on their looks, on their behavior, on their, on their job, on, on whatever, just doing something today. You know what a lot of people do? Simply pick up your phone and text message somebody. Text someone and tell them to have a nice day, something you normally wouldn't do. Or, or text them and say uh, you're thinking of them and, and do a little smiley face. Anything that's different than what you did yesterday, something different and something positive. And it's going to be little steps like that that are going to inspire big steps and actually change things. It's not about having committees. It's not about any of that. It's going out and participating, acting. Remember, it's a collaboration of our thoughts and actions that are going to create something. So let's get doing this. I want to get to the show. The show is, is short enough. Colette Baron reed she's an internationally best-selling author, acclaimed intuitive counselor, Highly sought after and powerful motivational speaker, performer, and storyteller with a client base spanning 29 countries. She has facilitated hundreds of her popular seminars and workshops worldwide on developing intuition and the art of creating reality. Today she joins us to share her knowledge, philosophy, and strategies to help you become conscious of your divine creative nature and live to your fullest potential. Colette Baron reed welcome to the program. Hello, Steve. Hello. Thanks for coming uh, on. You know, i got to say thank you, but I, I have to say I just loved your preamble. Um, you said everything that I believe in in such a short period of time. I, uh, you know, the law of kindness uh, is the one thing that is, that is common to every single religion, the one do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I mean, it's, it is the only thing that synergizes every single faith on the planet. You are so absolutely fact, and, right. And, you know, and, and, and the idea, too, that you don't advertise, you know, for the first, uh, I'd say, well, I've never advertised my readings, ever. Like, it was always, it's attraction rather than promotion, a day at a time. And you've done, what, like over 20,000 or something, I think I read, right? 
Um, no, I've actually read way over 40,000. Um, uh, well, you know, I've been reading for 20 years. That doesn't, that actually sounds like a lot, it sound, but it really isn't. You know, I know a lot of, I, lo I know intuitives that work more than I do, but I don't think I could do a good job if I do more than that. Like, and that's over 20 years, you've got to remember, right? So I don't do more than six readings a day. And, um, and, uh, but, you know, and like, and like, you have to have integrity about what you do. So it's like, if I can't put out the energy and I can't do it, I won't do it, right? Well, it's, it's a reason I have you on. You know, I, I have a lot of great thinkers on this show. We, you know, we have a, a series with James Redfield. We have Neil Donald Walsh on a few times. Byron, mm -hmm. Katie, Dan Millman. We've Sonia Chiquette. We've had some amazing people on here. But I wanted you on for a while because I, I have read your stuff, and mm -hmm. you're right. We we do. You do usually. I'm not into intuitive things. You know, I did a, this tour on these um these new age type uh, expos, uh -huh. and it was a lot of fun. But there was a lot of psychics, a lot of intuitives, yeah. and, and I couldn't help but get frustrated because I would say to myself, and I would say to others, I'd say, you know, here you are, these people devoting this time and energy to talk to people who have passed on, but they don't have a neighbor they've said hello to in 10 years. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, and while they're... While it's yeah. important to embrace your spirituality, I see so many people turning their backs on their humanity, but I don't see that in your books. Your books are, are really about a lot of, when I talk about intent and action, you, yeah. you're really about while you're speaking and taking messages from the Spirit, you're very active and participating in your humanity, and I love that about your work. Well, I think that, um, you know, I think what happens is, is people get very attached to what seems to be the superficial out, outcome of, say, a reading, for example, right? So they want to talk to their good grandmother. But in fact, what is the point of doing that? Well, I, I demonstrate doing, you know, the readings for a different purpose. I show that we are connected, intrinsically connected, that in fact, if a person has the aptitude to pick up information. I mean, it's arrogant for us to believe that there are no other dimensional realities and there, you know what I mean, if we're well, right. in our little pods, right? You know, <laughs> right. But, but readings really prove connection. And then you have to ask, well, if we are so connected, then what is our responsibility to each other? And that's the bottom line for me. You know, the bells and whistles are, okay, fine, your Uncle George is here, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. but what does that say? And in, the, and in the end, anyway, it is all about how we treat each other. It, it, that, is the, that is exactly how we live is how we treat one another. If we are competitive, if we consider that everything around us is based on lack, that we'll be taking something away from someone else, you know, you know what I'm saying? And it's right, very sure. much how our society is set up, right? And, and if we look at the world or the, or the planet just as a resource, instead of us being custodians, we look at that we're dominators, right? So, I mean, it, I, what I try to do with my work is to make people think about the bigger picture in a way that is personal to them. So, because it, it, it needs to be empowering. Because you do, you def definitely, that's exactly what I love about it. It's not spooky. It's not okay. anything like that. It's very... Um, it, it's metaphysical, but you're not preachy. You lay out this information. You have a ridiculous amount of knowledge on this subject, and you can tell you're highly experienced. You know this stuff so well that you can explain it to somebody without preaching to them, and they, they see the big picture, and they see themselves in it. And I think that's why you're so celebrated. I want to talk about, Colette, this show, you're not going to yeah. believe how fast this hour is going to go. So I want to get to your oh, new I know. book. I, I know how fast it goes. Okay.